بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه تسليما السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته Ramadan Mubarak It's your sister Zainab Mansari with you at Taysir Seminary and I'm happy to share this story with our esteemed audience for the Guidance Ramadan Spirit Series. You know, the Ramadan spirit is one of commitment and sacrifice, and it's one of foresight and wisdom. And there is a young man that embodied all of these qualities. His name was Iyas ibn Mu'adh. Now, most people never actually heard of Iyas because we are more familiar with his more famous brother, Sa'ad ibn Mu'adh. Now, in the year 10 of Revelation, the Os, and there remember, there were two Arab tribes in Yathrib. And they were locked in internecine conflict. So one of the two tribes goes to Mecca, and this is the Os in the year 10 of Revelation. And they went to Mecca, hoping that the Quraysh, they could induce the Quraysh to intervene on their behalf and fight the Khazraj. That was their reason, their only reason really for being in Mecca. The Quraysh thankfully demurred, they declined. But when the Prophet ﷺ heard that a group from uh, Medina, from Yathrib, from the Aus, had come to Mecca, he sought them out in his da'wah. And he approached them saying, I know for which purpose you've come to Mecca, but shall I not offer you a purpose that is better than that? So they listened, and the Prophet ﷺ recited to them the Qur'an, told them about Allah Ta'ala, God the Almighty, invited them to Islam, and presented to them something that obviously was, was much better than what they had come for. But they were not receptive except for Iyas ibn Mu'adh. Iyas had the courage as probably the youngest member of that group to stand up amidst his elders and to say, has the Prophet ﷺ not given you something or presented something better than that which you came for? So he saw the khair in the Prophet's invitation. And he wanted to support the Prophet, peace be upon him. His heart, as Ibn Hisham tells us in his seerah, Iyas, the heart of Iyas ibn Mu'adh, recognized the truth and inclined towards Islam. So really, in his heart from that moment, Iyas was a Muslim and a believer. But the group was not receptive, and the elder, the chief of the group, shut him down by throwing dirt in his face and basically saying, mind your own business. So the delegation returned to Yathrib. But this was not the end of the story. The Prophet ﷺ continued with his da'wah efforts uh, in Mecca, and in the meantime, Iyas passed away, but... The people that were with him as he passed away attested to the fact that he did not pass away except that he was saying, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and he was praising God and glorifying God. So he passed away in a state of iman. And the takeaway from this story Dear sisters and dear brothers, is that Iyas embodied the ability to have foresight, to recognize the khair, and to adhere to a cause, and to dedicate oneself to a cause without being guaranteed the results in this world. He did not live long enough to meet the Prophet again, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He did not live long enough to see Yathrib renamed Medina Munawwara, Medina the illuminated. He did not live long enough to go to the battles. He did not live long enough to see Fatah Mecca. None of that. But we count Iyas ibn Mu'ad as the very first Ansari. He was amongst, and the very first of actually, As-Sabiqoon al-Awwalun al-Muhajirin al-Ansar. The forerunners, the forebears, the pioneers from the Muhajirin, the emigrants, and the Ansar, the helpers, that Allah Ta'ala praised in the Quran. During these blessed days of Ramadan, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant acceptance and forgiveness and a vast reward to our pioneers from that first generation. 
We ask Allah Ta'ala to join us with them. We ask Allah Ta'ala to alleviate the suffering of the Mustadha'afin in Palestine and to free Palestine in our lifetime. And we ask Allah Ta'ala to give us the commitment of Iyas ibn Mu'ad, who had the foresight to make that commitment without being guaranteed results in this world. And we ask Allah Ta'ala to let us see the results in the Akhirah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.